sick darkness should do support. So I want to thank God for this day. He has made me so rejoice and be glad. You such a wonderful partner and a friend for allowing us to bring you this kind of programming. I want to bless you for that. I want to show you a message I preached recently and the power of God. Also, I want to encourage you to partner with our ministry as we bring you the power of God and take the gospel to different regions. I'm going to be at the DF campus in Derry Beach on May the 26th at 7.30 p.m. You're invited to come and join us. Also, June 9th, a friend of mine is coming in from Texas, Jim Sinaro. What a mighty God of is going to bless us. Uh, we want to encourage you to go to our website to get more information about these upcoming events. Also, join us September the 13th and the 14th at the Confession Center for a powerful city-wide crusade. Jesus is Lord is coming back soon. Pray for Jerusalem. Also, remember uh, to come and join us in one of our meetings. Uh, you will be blessed. This is the time for you to experience the power of God. If you need healing, deliverance, or prayer, we're going to stand with you and we have a prayer line ready. Our prayer line team is going to answer your prayer call and pray with you. Jesus, Lord, God bless you. Enjoy this broadcast and I'll come back to pray with you at the end of the show. God bless. Oh, Sweet Lordy. Giving life in a world so dark and so dim, sweet anointing, God's holy presence, free from the chains of this life. the joy in Him. Think about it now. Never, never are we turned away. His arms are open wide. Do it with me tonight. Walk into God's prayer. And in his love, his wondrous love abide. The presence of a holy God flowing from the throne above. Never fear, never worry. It doesn't matter what the world has to say, my friend, we're kept constantly in the power of his holy love. You believe that? Shout hallelujah. Sweet anointing. Sweet anointing. Giving hope. In this world that's become so dark and so dim, sweet anointing, hallelujah, pour it on us, Lord, God's holy presence, free from the chains of this old life. That's the atmosphere. I'm going to pray for any case. I'm going to deal with any case. Whether it is cancer, HIV, diabetes, bulimia, anorexic, whatever it is. Because the Lord has set the atmosphere. We dare challenge the enemy. We put the atmosphere in place. What do you mean? We are hungry. We are thirsty. Can a miracle happen every day in your life? It can. Before I finish. For behold, darkness shall cover the earth. And gross darkness. But God says, okay, I know. There is darkness all around. You see it on television. You see it in New Zealand. People killed in a mosque. 
You see it in Ethiopia. People died. You see it in Venezuela. People dying from civil unrest. Government collapse. You see it in America. Babies killed every day through abortion. That even some political people have endorsed abortion to be to the time whereby the child is almost born. That's extremely bad. You see this happening today in Hollywood. You see it happening in the world today. Most of the people dying from the epidemic of drug addiction. Darkness is all around. Depression. Suicide. Premature death. Poverty. Stress. That's darkness. But then he says, gross darkness, the people. That's what you see. It's all over the people. Hate. Then he says something. But the Lord shall rise upon thee. My, 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 my. Ever say, Lord, I'm ready for you to rise upon me. He says, His glory shall be seen upon thee. Okay, let's continue. He says, But the Lord shall rise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. And the Gentiles shall come to thy light, and the kings to the brightness of thy rising. Your testimony in the glory, the manifestation of God's presence, and his glory being released over your life is going to draw non-Christians to Christ. The Gentiles represent the non-believers. We are not to evangelize believers. That's why when I come to a city, I go after the non-believers. I thank God for those that know Christ. They're welcome to come and be part of the harvest. Let's clap to Jesus for that. We have to pray for the sick. We have to pray for those that are in need. We have to pray for those that are ready to receive. It is so easy to be healed. It's so easy to be delivered. All you have to do is to believe. And then you shall receive. He says, His glory shall be risen upon thee. The Gentiles shall come to thy light and kings to the brightness of thy rising. When the glory comes, it takes the limits off. You can come out of your bondage in a split moment. A woman came to my meeting in Minneapolis. She was diagnosed with hypertension and multiple sclerosis. And right when she got the diagnosis, she came to my service. God gave me a word of knowledge. I prayed for her. I told her, go back to your doctor for a check. The doctors checked. They could not find no hypertension. And they could not trace any multiple sclerosis. <laughs> Amen. Because the power of God sniped it out of her. Siphoned it. Woman came to my meeting. Suffering. And God healed her. We've had meetings where people came with severe illnesses. One woman came to my service in Dara Beach. We, the rotten part of her ankle area was rotten. You could see the damage. The, the bacteria are down to her leg. I prophesied supernatural deliverance and God began to dry it instantly in front of our eyes yes I went to JFK hospital I'm sharing with you testimonies of when God's glory is risen upon thee what happens I went to JFK hospital and I dealt with a situation with a woman she had been she collapsed in a house for three days no food no water for three days and she had peed on herself because she had a stroke and the pee had burnt her over the area where she was laying down. You could see. And when people are in that state of coma, the eyes are dropped in and uh, she's dehydrated and she don't know where she at. So the, the, the neighbors and the landlord called the cops 
and they, you know, the daughter came and they took her to the hospital. So she was there and they had a stroke one side and unresponsive. Her face looked like a, a, a basketball, round. Death was all over. When I walked in, I said, daughter, I told her daughter, you're going to see a miracle in front of your eyes. As I began to prophesy, I could see the eyes back up and then the eyes open and the mouth closed in front of her eyes. And then the blood began to flow and the side that had a stroke she began to move that area and began to move her leg right there glory to jesus life returned because the glory was released in the atmosphere in a hospital you say how possible is that because when the glory comes it will challenge any physical disability can i amend that now you may say well i don't that's a miracle i see it's a miracle but how can i experience it and how can i receive it you receive a miracle when you believe when you expect it someone say amen glory to jesus i'll never forget i was preaching in london i've shared this testimony from gonna share again and this service is a prophetic war service and they bring to the service a woman she cannot see she cannot hear and she cannot talk how do you communicate with her you can't the only thing she could do is eat. Hey, she could eat and sleep, but she could not see, hear, or talk. So the family that brought her said, this is a problem. I said, I've never seen this problem before. I've been to 16 different nations preaching the gospel, but I've never seen a problem like this. So I got on my knees. I said, Father, this is yours. Fix it. Amen. This is how I did it. And guess what? When I got up, she began to see, she began to hear, she began to talk. Can I see, can I hear a better clap offering than that? I did not heal this woman. God healed her. That's what Jesus did when he had a problem. Thousands of people were hungry and he had to feed them. All he did is he lifted up his hands and lifted up the meal and blessed the Lord. Gave thanks and he passed it out. It multiplied. The supernatural is released when we surrender. Stop trying to figure out how you're going to be healed. Stop trying to figure out how you're going to come out of debt. Stop trying to figure out how your husband is going to stop acting like a devil. How your wife is going to stop doubting. How your children are going to get off drugs. Stop trying to figure out how you're going to change your community. Surrender it to God and God is going to move. Someone say amen. God is going to move. The supernatural is released when we surrender. Surrender your worry. Surrender your anxieties to God and see God move supernaturally. I'm believing God for the book of Acts manifestation. I'm believing God to see food multiply. I've seen it before. I'm believing God to see limbs grow out. I'm believing God to see body parts put back in people. Someone say amen.
you came with an organ missing god is going to put it back there we've seen it before we're going to see it again someone say amen in every service you missed the place to clap to jesus i believe god is going to do earth shaking miracles that will blow everybody's mind and they will not be able to explain how it happened amen you know why? Because God is not meant to lie. Jesus Christ did not preach a dead gospel. He preached a power-packed gospel. He cast out devils. Hallelujah. He walked on water. Hallelujah. That is not civilized. That is, that is supernatural. Amen. The things we're going to accomplish in the glory that will not take understanding, they will take supernatural revelation. Amen. Like opening blind eyes, stopping deaf ears, coming out of debt supernaturally, supernatural debt cancellation. Amen. God can move in your health. A woman came with a blood clot on her leg and I laid hands on her and instantly it disappeared. She went back to doctors. They could not find it. The blood clot, clot disappeared. Another woman had cancer. I went to JFK hospital to pray for her. I laid hands on her, rebuked the cancer. When the doctors came the next day, they ran tests. They could not find the cancer. Why? Because the glory siphoned it out. Now, before I finish, I'm going to say this as I close. Miracles are a manifestation of his glory and power deliverance is a manifestation of his love glory and power amen we can receive what we came expecting when we believe and surrender to god number two god wants to heal you even before your problem came that's why he sends people like us to come and minister to you it's the will of god for you to be free but you have to believe you have to come in agreement with what god wants to do May your eyes open that you see and hear. Somebody say amen. For this purpose the Son of God was man made manifest. To destroy the works of Satan. Amen. Jesus came to set the captives free. To bring hope to the hopeless. To bring rest upon the captives. captives. So how do you receive from God? You receive when you believe. Number two. You receive when you surrender. Number three, you receive when you accept him as the one that's going to effect the change. From the time of John the Baptist, the kingdom of heaven suffereth violence and the violent take it by force. You know what that means? You got to take your miracle. You got to take your breakthrough. You got to say no to what the devil is saying to you. You got to say no to rejection. No to pain not to shame not to f come on let me hear somebody say hallelujah you gotta say no somebody say hallelujah you are to refuse it refuse the judgments of the devil refuse the accusations of the enemy the bible said the devil is the accuser of the brethren you have to say no no to hiv no to depression no to diabetes no to any infirmity in your body infirmity is a spirit the name of jesus is above any infirmity in your life yeah. hallelujah i was preaching in baltimore maryland and the rain was raining out there and this woman came with the walker i told her come forward she came forward i took the walker and i broke it and I told her, walk. And she said, huh? I said, walk. Okay. Somebody said, hallelujah. Let me tell you why. Because when the glory come, it can change the chemistry, the dynamic, the blood flow in your bones and break every curse of your life. There is no demon in hell that can deny you your miracle.
there is no religious thought or power that can deny you your answer. There is no power or warlock or wizard in this region that can deny you your miracle. If you believe, you will receive it. Ten now went down to a, it was an eight now went down to a five it keeps going down and down the Bring pain. Him up here. Come on, brother Marvin, let's go up here. Hallelujah. You know, I'm gonna you know that God loves the show. Amen. So, I'm gonna you know God loves the show. Jeffrey, I need you here quickly. Thank you, Jesus. I'm gonna you know that God loves the show. You know what that means? He loves the glory. He wants the glory. Yes, Jesus. Someone say, glory. 20 years of back pain gone. Come here, my brother. Ready. Just walk up here. Now, just tap his back three times. One, two, three. Tap it. That's all. God bless you. Now, stop. Check yourself now. God bless you. You're free to go. Now check yourself. Go down. Up. Do what you could not do before. Mama, 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 Mariko, Soro, Loya, Mama. Ha ha ha. Mama. Now tell me from whatever you said it was, what was it before? He, when he came for prayer, it, the pain was 10. Like on a scale of 1 to 10, it was the top. After you prayed for him, it went to now, the 8. Now what is it? Now. It, a three. Woo! He said it's down to three. Give me your right hand. Now I command it to drop to zero. Now turn around. Turn around. Do that three times. Much better. How Much is, better. After it's five gone. years. After five years. After five years. Five years. Five, Five years. years. Yes. And you feel much better. Much better. Much better. Thank you. Much, much better. Much, much better. I want you to go to your doctor and do another x-ray and you're going to be surprised. Everything is fine. God bless you. Hallelujah. This sister in Christ was attacked by the enemy with an aggressive witchcraft attack on her skin. It was peeling and the doctors didn't know what to do. But God intervened when her husband brought her to Apostle Sally's service and he prayed for her and God set her free. And now she can move freely. All the glory belongs to Jesus. Please. Father, give you praise. Watch a miracle. Pull up her pants just a little bit. Watch that miracle. Now they're going to begin to shrink right now. Shrink. 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 Shrink, 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 shrink. Starting right now, I prophesy. Shrink, 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 shrink. That's the glory. 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 Everybody pray. It's beginning to shrink right now. Shrink, 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 shrink. Shrink, shrink, shrink. Look at that. Shrink, 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 shrink. Look at that. <laughs> Look at a walk. Look at a walk. There's a Look at a walk. She don't need a stick no more. Gotta set her free. That's a miracle. Watch. Watch. My God. Look at that! Break every chain! Break every chain! Oh! Break every chain! She's walking up by herself. She don't need a cane. She's free. To God be the glory! My God! My God! My God! My God! My God! Look at the miracle. My God.
but you've got to work. May God give you strength. I, I call forth your inheritance. There is a check that belongs to you. I command it to locate you. The devil will not keep it from you anymore. I decree that your money will come in the name of Jesus, the son of the living God. I break the curse of COPD and the infirmity, the curse of infirmity and COPD. Breathing on the thing today is now suspended. May the doctor's tests come back giving you a better report. In the name of Jesus, the son of the Holy Spirit. I want you to place your hands on your chest like this. And you're going to breathe in hard. Get out seven times. The Lord is helping you inhale supernatural breath. Breathe like this. God and when you spoke it in, in oh that's in August praise the Lord and God sent me here to go farm it Jesus has done it to God be the glory I'll give you a hug oh it's only channel 16 glory to God I'm out of time I'm out of time but before we go I'm going to give you an opportunity to receive Jesus in your heart if you don't know Jesus in your heart, simply say to me, Lord Jesus, come into my heart and save me. I confess my sin, repent, renounce my iniquity, remove my name from the book of death, write my name in the book of life. I accept in my heart as my Lord and Savior, and I'm born again. If you receive Jesus in your heart, now you're born again. Stay in Jesus and don't lose your focus or your faith. The Lord is coming back soon. Visit our website to get more information about upcoming events and get an upcoming periscope so you can stay in touch with what God is doing. Right worse. In PO Box 221661, West Palm Beach, Florida. Wanna hear from you? Send your prayer request. We're gonna start with you in prayer. God bless.